the United Kingdom, United States and Australia have agreed to build hypersonic technology missiles and glide vehicles like China Super Hypersonic Missiles, which would be fired from land, fighter jets and warships, undetectable by radar and examine ways of countering the threat of hypersonic missiles may pose, and China is not happy about it. The Australia, United Kingdom, and United States announced that they will develop hypersonic missiles together as well as the means to defend against them. The Britain will work with the United States and Australia in developing super-nuclear-capable hypersonic missiles weapons, after Russia used the deadly hypersonic missiles several times against targets near Mykolaiv and elsewhere in the west of Ukraine. We need to understand how the overall targeting system of our adversaries might work, a British official said. The initiative is part of a UK-US, the military pact the three countries signed in mid-September 2021, which many observers view as a new alliance to contain China's geopolitical rise. The military agreement also provides for trilateral cooperation on artificial intelligence, cyber security, quantum technologies and missiles. For a UK-US leaders, the decision to expand military collaboration on hypersonic missiles, as well as undersea drones, became necessary given current security scenarios, especially after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The United Kingdom government has stressed, however, that cooperation on hypersonic missiles, capable of flying five times the speed of sound with great maneuverability, is dictated by the fact that other countries are investing in this weapon system. The Russians claimed to have used hypersonic weapons several times during the Ukraine war, including to destroy an arms depot. The Russia president, Vladimir Putin has previously praised the Kinzhal and weapons like it, saying four years ago that its speed makes it invulnerable, and that it was quite understandable why the leading armies of the world seek to possess such an ideal weapon. It means that it cannot be intercepted by existing missile defense systems around the world. The Russian also tested the Zircon hypersonic missiles last October that Vladimir Putin claimed travels up to Mach 9. In August 2021, an experimental hypersonic missile launched into space from China circled the globe before crashing into Earth. China has been testing hypersonic weapons using a different technology, known as the hypersonic glide vehicle, in which the missiles are initially launched into space and then attached to dedicated aerodynamic craft designed to bring them down to their targets on Earth. North Korea too claims to have tested a hypersonic missile. The Australian government yesterday announced that it will spend US$2.6 billion to boost its missile defence. Canberra will purchase air-to-ground missiles from the United States, Norwegian designed missiles for its warships and naval mines to protect its ports. Defence Minister Peter Dutton noted that his country-enhanced missile programme is a response to China's growing military activism in the Indo-Pacific. The Chinese Foreign Ministry replied saying that the United States, Australia and the United Kingdom are creating tensions in the region.